Thousands of supporters and opponents are gathering in Missoula today ahead of the third campaign style rally in Montana with President Trump. The president is looking to build support for Republican U.S. Senate candidate Matt Rosendale ahead of November's midterm elections. Rosendale is in a tight battle against incumbent Democrat John Tester ahead of the president's touchdown in the Garden City. Protesters used Missoula landmarks like Mount Jumbo's L and the Mount Sentinel M to show their disapproval of the president and his policies. Across town, though, supporters began lining up early to try and secure a spot to see the president speak at the Minuteman Aviation Hangar at the Missoula International Airport. President Trump is on his way right now to Big Sky Country. He's expected to arrive in Missoula just about an hour from now. MTN's Jill Valley and Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison are live at the rally with Minuteman a preview. Minuteman Aviation in Missoula, where thousands of people behind me are getting ready to hear the president speak. They were anticipating some 8,000 people. I'm not sure all are going to fit in here, but they're going to do their best. About an hour and a half ago, the parking lot that can accommodate 5,000 cars was filled up. Now, people have been randomly cheering. It's a very festive atmosphere here. Just a few minutes ago, Matt Rosendale was working the crowd and shaking people's hands. We also had a Steve Dane sighting, so of course they're going to be there for this. What is exciting for Missoula is Missoula has not had a sitting president come visit here for some 64 years. So a lot of people are coming to support the administration, but others may be here to be a part of history. And what's going to be really exciting is when that Air Force One lands, it's going to be right over my shoulder, very close to this crowd, and that will for sure cause a frenzy. It's going to be very exciting. So far, people have just been in a good mood and I think things are going well so far. Well, as you said, Jill, it's a very festive atmosphere. It's kind of almost like a rock concert previous to the other times here in Montana, but this is a political event. The main reason the president is here is to get out the Republican vote. He's gonna be talking about the Senate race between John Tester and Matt Rosendale, one of the most closely watched Senate races in the nation. Also, Greg Gianforte and involved in another race, he'll be here tonight as well. There's only about two and a half weeks left until the election. People are already voting. And the question here is not for Republicans. Everyone here is going to vote. They want to get other people out to vote. And that's the purpose of this meeting primarily. Back to you in the studio, Melissa. Mike and Jill, thank you so much. Well, a large counter rally is taking place near the Missoula County Fairgrounds. And MTN's Jonathan Ambarian filed a report from Playfair Park. I'm here at Playfair Park in Missoula, where several hundred people have gathered for what they're calling a Love Trump's Hate Rally. It's organized by the group Missoula Rises. Organizers said they wanted to counteract what they're calling hateful rhetoric that's come from President Trump. Now, right now, the people behind me are hearing from Missoula Mayor John Engen. There will be several other speakers here. Also, throughout the day's event, there have been a bus that carried people over to the elections office at the fairgrounds, where people were able to register to vote or turn in their absentee ballots. Organizers said that this was about channeling people's energy, converting it into action, and in this case, that action would be voting. Now, the event is going to wrap up tonight at 5.30. There's going to be a march from here at Playfair Park over to the fairgrounds, and the idea there is that people will actually be surrounding the polls, as it were. In Missoula, I'm Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Jonathan, thanks. You can watch the speech live on Helena CW or catch it streaming on KTVH.com. We will have a full wrap and analysis tonight on the News at 10.